Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, people? How's it going? It's Sandman here for another video game review. Today, we're looking at Wolfenstein The Old Blood. Story. This story is a prequel to last year's Wolfenstein The New Order. In this, you play as BJ, an American operative who is sent undercover to retrieve documents from the Nazis. It's 1946, and Hitler is winning the war with their advances in super soldier technology. It's up to BJ and his teammate to track down a folder which will lead them to the general who controls these technological developments. Story isn't a huge part of this game. Most of the narrative is a bit silly and cliche, and it tends to stay away from making things overly complicated. The game's plot is understandable not having played Wolfenstein The New Order, but there's not much to understand beyond kill bad guys until the game says you're done. And there are a few tense moments at the beginning of the game when you're still trying to be undercover and the twists and turns throughout it make it have a good enough reason to go from battle to battle. But since this is a short standalone expansion to a much larger game, the plot sadly never gets too interesting. Gameplay. Wolfenstein has always been a series that on the surface looks grand in reality, but if looked into deeper, you can see that it wants to be a bit crazy. This makes it have a disjointed feel at times though. At the beginning of the game, you're taught that you can, and probably should, sneak and stealthily move through the levels. For example, there are commanders that can call in reinforcements once you're detected, so it makes sense to want to hunt them down first and silently finish them. However, after the first few stages, it becomes nigh impossible to sneak through a level. Snipers usually detect you instantly, and most areas are just plain easier if you go in guns blazing. A lot of set pieces seem designed to encourage you to assassinate your way through an area, but there just aren't any good tools given to accomplish this. Wolfenstein must be an arcadey shooter, so it's not disappointing that there aren't any deep stealth elements, because you shouldn't really expect it from a game that has a cheesy, muscular dude with ripped abs and pecs that could crush a can on the menu screen. Wolfenstein The Old Blood has combat that is extremely well done, and it's refreshing to see an FPS game that doesn't subscribe to the Call of Duty school of design. The battles are interesting, the shooting feels fine, and it's really fun to play. I enjoyed what time I had with the game and gunning down enemies, though if they had expanded the arsenal of weapons you can acquire, and made the game's stealth elements just a little more refined, it could have been completely flawless. Conclusion. Wolfenstein The Old Blood is a really fun game, and there were very few disappointing moments in it. The only times it did feel lacking were the times that you felt like you could stealth through an area, but then you get spotted by an enemy with telescopic vision a few miles away. A few elements the developers put in were janky, and the story was very anemic, but at the end of the day, this is a great game that I had a lot of fun playing.